if you're anything like me, you go through earbuds at an alarming pace. Thankfully, there's this gem on the internet called Helixstream, and they offer China-made goods at horribly low prices. And they also have free shipping, although the shipping takes forever. Me and my friend Daniels98 are going to go through some of their cheapest models and see if any of them meet our liking compared to more expensive hardware. Hello there, I'm Daniels98, and today I have a bunch of headphones that uh, Robin sent me from Dealextreme. And so I'm going uh, to test them out, give them a little review, and um, you know compare them all. Um, my reference, I have my Grotto SR125s. Uh, very high quality headphones, totally recommend them. Um, and for my sound card, I've got my Sound Blaster X5 Pro. I don't have the highest quality music, but I've got Groove Shark, which is high enough quality for me. And I can... I know a lot of people are like, what? No, no, you can't tell the difference between things with MP3 quality sound. Well, I can. I can tell the difference quite well. So, first of all, um, they came wrapped in this plastic. I don't know why. There you go. It's a very nice little hard plastic display case there. Yeah. Ooh, it's hinged. So let's see now, let's check out this front panel here. Extra comfort in-ear seal works with all multimedia. Ideal for internet phone, language laboratories. Let's look at the back piece here, yeah. Is MP4 because only likes. And then headphones themselves. Those are orange. So they're the um, encapsulated type. So little speakers in there. And then, yep, little your things come off. And um, there are not any replacement little ear things that you'd normally find. So I, I guess that can be a bad thing. Um, I never use them anyway, so that's not fine with me. So, i turn my volume all the way down. Plug them in. Touch right, got left. And get some music going. All right. So they sound like you put them in the bottom of a tin can. So um, sometimes with headphones that I do find, I do find that driving them a little bit harder for a little bit can help fix them. So turned my volume all the way up here. So let's see, I'll see if that changed anything. A little bit. But um, for the most part, these have a very strong mid-range and not a whole lot else. Meh. I put those in the meh pile. So yeah, same set, without going into too much detail about these. Uh, these are the 101 uh, 056 earbuds on the Extreme, and these are the ones that Dan just went over. Uh, aside from the nice packaging, they do have some really horrible quality sound. These are still better though than most of the ones that end up coming in like just normal bags. They're just a little better than those, but they're still not great, so I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, these sell for 340. On just three dollars and forty cents uh, U.S. on the extreme. Okay, so let's check out the second set. These are Awi headphones. SKU seven three eight three eight. Let's see now. Also wrapped in plastic. Looks like the box came open during shipping. Let's 
Let's see now. Check out the front here. Looks like it comes with interchangeable caps, has the medium sized cap fitted on already. And a hop pocket. Let's see now. Vibration absorption effect to prevent loss of vibration. Okay. Let's see. Please retain this sticker for an original invoice for warranty. Hmm. Alright. And says, ah oh, well, for all kinds of music. So, looking at the back here, I have no idea what language that is. It's not English, so I can't read it. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and open up this package. So there's our extra ear cups. Chinese owner's manual. Chinese, both sides. And ooh. This is kind of nice. I don't know what where this hot bag was supposed to be, but it's not in there. So, that cord is actually braided. It's kind of cool. Anyway, but the important part, they sound. So it looks like got kind of a long body, the end is sealed, and yep, yeah, those come off pretty easily. Look like they might be metal or a shiny painted plastic. Let's see. Yep. Well, unplug sound card. Drop the volume down. All the way down. I'll give them a try. Ooh. Oh wow. Hooray for vibration absorption system. So, wow, those actually sound pretty good. So let's see now. Let's do a little torture test. Volume all the way up. For a couple seconds there and see if that affects the sound at all. No. No, those still sound quite good. The bass is good, the treble is good, nothing is too pronounced. Um, yeah, those are actually really good. I'm going to go ahead and set these in the good pile. I also splurged for a bit of a more expensive set. These are Avia. And I'm not sure if these are actually a brand name or if it's just an odd Chinese brand. They have a little felt box in there. They definitely got the expensive feel down. This one actually does have uh, a few different sizes of earbud. Let's unravel these. Cords of the same length. These ones look Slightly better actually. They have a little bit better build quality to them. They feel a little bit heavier. Get the left and the right together. They fit nice. They have this horrible clicking sound. You put them in your ear, you can hear this nasty click. That's what deafens you. I'm not quite sure what causes that click. This one doesn't have it. So I will investigate that. To compare them against, I actually have a set of Razer uh, gaming headset. 
earbud things. And these are usually selling from around $50 to $60. So I'm going to see if these, the $3, can get close to these for $50. So since I recorded that, I've been using these uh, Awea, Ovea thingy headphones for about a week, uh, pretty much constantly. And uh, they actually have very comparable quality to the uh, the Mambo Razer headsets. So I'm very content with these. Um, the only thing that I end up doing, as I mentioned in the initial first look at them, uh, one of the earbuds was manufactured uh, a little off and made some horrible clicking noises. So I replaced the, uh, the earpiece with a plastic one or rubber one from uh, one of the cheaper sets that came with uh, stuff for uh, case them here or not. I don't, but they had uh, quite a few spares that came with some of the other sets. So I took a, a medium sized spare from another set and put them on these ones. Dan didn't have the same problem, so it's just like a manufacturing thing in mind, I'm guessing. Nevertheless, uh, these were the best quality ones that we were able to find at Elixtreme. Uh, these ones actually have uh, the SKU uh, 73838. You can search that up on Elixtreme.com and find them. They, uh, <clears throat> they cost $4.90 US. And Razor. Uh, headsets were like uh, forty, fifty dollars, and uh, these are four, these are four ninety. So definitely worth grabbing some of these. The general quality on the rest of the headsets we reviewed were so poor uh, that we can just kind of go through the rest of them really, really fast. For SKU zero zero three three eight. Oh. Okay, so now it sounds like it's in the bottom of a tin can that's full of milk. SKU 4319. I think these are the cheapest ones. So, with the holes open, it sounds like you're listening to a crappy speaker inside of a cave. With the holes plugged, it sounds like you're listening to a crappy speaker that's inside of a tin can full of milk. SKU Four two five nine three. They sound like the um, bass is definitely emphasized quite a bit. Um, other than that, they sound pretty much like crap. Now, all of these really were horrible, um, but Dan thought he would give it one more try and take some of the ones that had uh, open holes in the back of them and try fixing them up with hot glue. So, as I said, I'd revisit... Uh, these ones with a little bit of hot glue, which is a modification I've made on headphones before. Uh, real simple, just I don't even really need a lot of hot glue, just kind of. Yeah. Get it in there. All right, and we'll try those again. All right, so tried SKU zero three 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 eight again. Uh, this time with the end sealed off with hot glue, and they still sound like crap. Do not recommend. So that's that. Links to all of the products we tested can be found in the description of this video. All the links, of course, link through to DealExtreme.com. Hopefully we'll try some more of their interesting stuff in the future. Like my shirts, all of them come from Shirt.Woot. You can help support this channel by buying using our referral code below.